All right, guys, welcome back. What we are going to do now is we're going to play through the uh, match orders. And, um, yeah, see how we do. I'm going to show you my build and uh, kind of explain to you some of my part choices. And uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so first thing is uh, this build is meant to be a uh, mid to close range, mostly close range. Uh, you want to be about generally about 400 meters um, from your opponent so that's pretty close range I, I want to say <clears throat> so um, the idea is to just blow through their armor uh, with both um, a uh, submachine gun or I guess a machine gun and then a very fast um, attacking assault rifle here so assault rifles can do damage um, or if, if it doesn't do damage it's gonna punch through their um, uh, primal armor and then the uh, machine gun will do uh, most of the damage so that's really it that's a that's like the main goal of this build um, especially if you're just doing match orders it's it's pretty good and it um, I plan on trying this out on uh, multiplayer so we'll see how that goes okay so for the only other weapon we have here is the uh, the back weapon uh, the plasma cannon so um, this weapon could be wherever you like. I think I chose this one because it does a lot of damage. It's limited shot. Um, it has really, really good, um, good, um, not uh, primal armor penetration, but primal armor um, attenuation, which basically just means it it drains their primal armor. It doesn't go through their primal armor, but just drains their primal armor, so it allows you to like um, just. Uh, be able to to kind of have them have their prime armor down a lot quicker and then just burst them down with the machine gun or burst them down uh, or switch over to your rifle again and uh, start firing it, it honestly could be any back weapon you want this, this one's not super duper great because it's a little bit hard to uh, land uh, in um, 1.4 it's it's only got a, a speed of um, where's the speed Projectile speed, where is it? Uh, oh, sorry. Ballistic velocity of like 980. <clears throat> so the one thing is, if you're using any weapons that their velocity is lower than 900, it's a little bit harder to hit your opponent unless you're really, really, really close. Um, but this one, even at 980, it's, it's a little slow. Um, versus the laser gun I was using before, uh, like this one. Um, it's got 1300 so it means it comes out pretty fast hit, hits pretty fast but um, you know this one's a little bit slower but it's not our main damage source and it's just an extra weapon we have that does a lot of damage it's great against like tanks and stuff like that where they're just sitting uh, sitting around not not really moving too much you can probably hit this a lot easier um, against like other fast targets probably not so much but it's one of those 10 shots and then you ditch it um, you don't really it's not necessarily like uh your main dpsing weapon it's just another way to deal a lot of damage um quickly or just um drain their primal armor and then th that's really it that's that's our three main weapons we have nothing in the hangar uh, nothing on the other side uh reason why is we want our uh, energy to be uh, not cost as much as possible um and then for the the main body this is just rule of cool honestly for me I just like these particular parts. That's why I have them. They're middle uh, frame. Um, I was I was using this arm earlier, the um, the Lancel arms, because it look, also looks pretty cool. But I just decided to go with this arm and try to make it a almost a full Reynard uh, Reynard build. Um, there's better parts for sure. Th these parts they have a lot of uh, EN costs, a lot of energy costs, so it might not be that great, especially if you. Sp if you're spamming your quick boost, it's gonna drain your uh, EN pretty quickly, and then um, yeah, you'll be kind of a sitting duck while your EN recharges. So while using this, just make sure to um, keep track of your EN and manage it. Uh, I even I have issues with it where I drain my EN really quickly, but you know, uh, it is what it is. So just more of a, a player thing, I think. 
um then yeah we need the in blues uh gives us the best lock speed we really really, really need that because we're close range um there's no other choice here other than the, the in blues a generator i'm going for this one just because it's a little bit heavier um the other generator you could use is this one here this um sobero which has better energy output which means um the energy output just means that your energy bar uh recharges a lot quicker uh, so you allows you to boost a little bit more, but the energy capacity is just really low. It's like 30,000. It's like almost a third lower um, I don't know how how I guess much it matters, but um, Yeah, I just wanted something with a little bit more energy um, capacity and maybe a little bit more um, KP recharging too. So Kojima particle recharging So I, I decided to go with this one um, out of all the middle um cost boosters or middle weight boosters this one's got the most energy output so decided to go for this particular one and everything else is not too bad the kp output and the uh, capacity is not too bad the weight's okay i mean it's 2000 it is a little heavy um but you know it's it's like kind of in a good sweet spot it's not as light as any of these ones over here but it's not as heavy as the uh, some of the other middle ones so it's kind of like a, a decent spot and obviously we, we don't have enough weight to be able to carry any of these heavy uh, generators uh, unfortunately but uh, that's that's what we got there uh, boosters uh, switched over to the the virtue just so that we can quick boost a little bit longer distance which is nice especially in the one we wouldn't fight play through story mode you're probably okay with this one just you know move around the map a little bit quicker uh, you don't really care too much about quick boosting as much but in a uh, 1v1 match, probably uh, the Virtue here is going to be uh, one of the better choices to go with. Uh, back Booster, this one's just efficient. Uh, not much to really say about it. It's, it's the most efficient uh, EN um, uh, back boosters. So that's, what, that's why we're using it. Because the back booster just mostly affects you uh, going backwards. And we don't really fly backwards as much, so it doesn't really matter. So you just slap this on, call it a day. And this one here is also another good um, side booster, but it's also got one of the for the weight and energy. I think it uh, a lot of people say it's got like a really good horizontal thrust, which is what we kind of want. Good horizontal thrust, decent cost, and uh, yeah, just overall decent weight and everything else. So um, good choice there. And then this one, the Judith. Uh, the reason why we're, we're using the Judith is we never. Um, we're almost never gonna OB uh, for the most part, and so the Judith is good because it's it's the most efficient part out of all of them. As you can kind of see, I'm going through all the parts, and it's just got the lowest weight, lowest EN, and uh, it's close to uh, as, as close as possible to not having a overboost essentially because we don't really overboost, so we don't really care. Um, so that's why we are going the Judith over here. And then yeah, that's that's basically the build. Um, really simple, um, good for when we won. And um, because most of our parts are in the middle ca uh, middle category, our EN is not the best. Uh, our EN recovery is not the greatest, but um, I mean we got uh, decent armor, so when we get nailed by things, we you know less like to stagger. Uh, you know a little bit better. Uh, PA retention and stuff like that but at the cost of not being the most efficient and not being um, also not being the most fastest uh, build we can we can uh, be so we're, we're, we're kind of right in the middle right now we're we're um, basically jack of all trades master of none uh, but uh, our unit is pretty good at the close range so that's what we're hoping for Oh yeah, and the final part I forgot to mention is we also have uh, some flares. So we're doing this particular flare because it comes out the quickest. It's also the most, uh, it's more uh, EN efficient compared to the, the one I was using in game. This one's better for a single player because, you know, the arms fort and stuff like that, they like to spam their missiles. And so you can like fly around, use this, and uh, oh, just a track the missile. But in the one v one fight, it it comes out a little too slow to be any good, um, and you have to be in the air most of the time. Where this one is just kind of like, yeah, just overall decent um, for what it, it does. This one is good if you are on the ground a lot, um, 
but otherwise, yeah, I, I, would, I would probably go for this. Um, I, not, I have never used the flash rockets or, or any other ones, so I, I can't really tell you too much if they're good or not. But for the purposes of just um, what we're doing today, we're, we're just we're not playing online. We're just um, playing against the match orders. So I think this is fine against most of the AI uh, mechs that you'll be fighting against. Uh, and the hangers, yeah, we're never almost ever going to blade anyone. Uh, this builds, this uh, particular build is not made to blade and having them inside your hangar just drains up more energy and, and we're trying to free all that, uh, all that energy up so that we can uh, quick boost and whatnot. Uh, so yeah, so that's the build. Um, it's not the best build, but it, it'll work for what we're trying to do here. Alright, so I don't know how fast I can get through these order matches so we're gonna do the um <clears throat> the collard ones first there's 30 of them and then there's 12 uh orca ones so we'll do collards we'll go from uh 30 downwards and then I'll try to do maybe 10 fights maybe 15 fights depending on how uh how fast we get through them and then uh yeah should be fun so the first guy here is uh champion's champ i think he's in the story mode he's really easy the guy he's just basically on the ground the entire time all right uh, so let's go ahead and challenge him as for arena uh i don't know what's the best arena i want to say peace uh old uh pcd here is probably the most balanced one it's got it's got wide open fields um it's got some buildings for you to hide around and yeah, overall, I think it's probably the most balanced. Uh, this one is okay. It's if you like to hide and um, be obstructed a lot, then I guess the junction's okay because the freeway is kind of annoying, honestly. Um, this one's okay, but I, I really don't like the steps. Um, so it's not really good for ground battle. I guess in in the single player, it's or um, PvP, it's probably the most preferred because the steps means you just can't just stay on the ground all the time. You do have to do flying a little bit. Uh, and this one is just completely wide open, so uh, probably not uh, super balanced. There's no cover at all. Uh, the Mega Float, you're pl uh, flying on water, uh, so I am. I mean, depending depends on your build. Some builds might be really good on water. Some builds probably won't be. Minimal cover. Um, so we're just gonna stick to P City for all the fights here, because I think that's the most balanced one, I guess. Uh, at least in my opinion, I, I haven't really played uh, uh, PvP too much, so we'll try it out first. Yeah, most of these matches should be pretty quick. What we want to do is just check your radar, see where your opponent is. He's not too hard. I'm gonna mostly stick to the ground. Uh, I'm not gonna really fly around too much. Yeah, you see, uh, sometimes you get the random pop shocks off and. Yeah, that's not too bad. There you go. First one down was this guy. As you can see, I'm, I'm using an already saved file, so technically all these are been completed. But you now I'll show you how to kind of fight against uh, each one of them, more or less. I have not mastered the double step yet. Uh, this guy is just eating it. Yeah, if, if you can go parallel to someone like that, it's the probably like the best case scenario. You can just wail him down really quickly. Yeah, we, we, as you can kind of see, we we uh, were strafing the same direction, and my uh, my guns were just destroying their uh, their armor right there. I guess maybe that's why this one's a little bit more 
in PvE sense or PvP sense, it's a little bit more balanced. Just because you can't really have that type of fight. But yeah, why, why don't we show you uh, why? So there's there's less opportunity for you to just do like a strafe run like that side by side. It's more a like, el different elevation, I guess, and a little bit more cover. Yeah, I guess it'll good practice too. Although, I guess the AI, and sometimes they do that, where they just they get stuck in, like, uh, one of the pillars, and you kind of just take advantage of that. This guy's gonna go down, anyways. Yeah. So, for purpose, I think I'm just gonna give them a little bit more room to work with. Uh, with the old Peace City, even though they get stuck in um, between the buildings sometimes. He's got EMC, so I don't even know where he is. I guess that's pretty cool. Maybe, maybe I can build a, a build where I can sort of jam my opponent's radar. My, yeah, with uh, my particular build right now, we're not really we don't got any radars, which maybe I, I should. Cause I, I do rely on my radar quite a bit. Yeah, so not being able to see uh, with my radar was kind of a, a hindrance. Because <clears throat> I just have no no idea whether he's behind me, on top of me. So maybe I'll I'll do that. But then it it sucks that it just drains more of your uh, EN. So just one of those things. Got there. So yeah, the, it's pretty ridiculous uh, with the in blues. The, the tracking is so insane. Uh, by, right there, you see, I ran out of en too. I was just flying and uh, not really keeping track of my energy consumption there. But it didn't really matter too much. Uh, the fact that I was I was tracking him so well with my my guns um, and just kind of melting him with both my uh, my rifle and um, whatnot. So I didn't really need anything else, or I didn't really need EN too much. Scatter missiles, I think. Doing quite a bit of damage. Oh, I'm not even sure if that even hit him. Alright. Wonderful body. So we've killed quite a few of them so far. Yeah, 
EN is down or his PA is down. I have to take advantage of this. Well, they're gonna just glaze in over there. Yeah. So when their armor is like completely down, like that, you can just um, still spam your um, machine gun and then go in for a kill with the uh, plasma cannon. It, it does quite a bit of damage, at, and you almost never miss it at super super close range. Highly don't recommend you using it anywhere more than like 300 meters any further out, and you're always gonna miss. And I'm not using any missiles either. I just, my FC is just not equipped to get good tracking on it. And this guy is more aggressive than I am. Getting some trouble there. Yeah, he, uh, this guy is, uh, using... Traded there a little bit. Alright, I still got him. Just <laughs> barely, though, uh... I think what helped there was my um, my plasma cannon. I think I landed two good shots on it. I was losing the fight, but landed two good shots, which took uh, took that guy out. Unsisted. Ooh, that one wasn't too bad. Didn't even take that much damage. This guy's a melee. He is. I'm just... Can't really tell. He's got someone. I don't. Oh shit, we lost track of him. I'm waiting for him to get near me. I'm just blasted. Yeah, right there. I think I hit him with the uh, plasma cannon. But since he had his uh, primal armor, it didn't really matter too much. Uh, I think he is faster than me. See, uh, it's really hard hit hitting him with the, the plasma cannon. I'm just trying to like, nail him because he's coming at me, so I'm just trying to nail him. Uh, if he's trying to lunge at me, it's a good way to punish. No. Going through them pretty quickly, so oh, let's 
guy like this. Wow. Um, interesting. It took him down less than like five seconds. I guess he was just super lightweight. He's a missile spammer. Uh, but I used my flares and then he just couldn't uh, really do any damage to me before like I, my machine guns just um, demolish his armor. Not sure what build that guy is going for, but he also went down to just my machine gun fire. <laughs> he landed like two hits on me before he just went straight down. I saw some missiles fly up, so I'm not quite sure. Guns reloading. It's taking pretty decent damage. Alright, there you go. Yeah, I nailed him twice with the... Uh, Plasma cannon, pretty good. The plasma cannon is nice in the sense that it's got a really, really wide uh, hitbox. So if they're up close to you, pretty good. A little bit better than the laser cannon. The laser cannon just doesn't do as much damage, I guess. But it comes out a lot quicker. My fragile is pretty annoying with this. He can actually outgun us since his uh, build is more in the air. Yeah, as you can see, my prime armor went down pretty quickly. Yeah, that was kind of dumb. Track him for a second or two, and I just don't. He's just nailing me with his chain guns. My primal armor is also down. Too tough. All the songs are bomb in this game. I don't want a radar, honestly. Tank build. He's quite tanky. He just stuck in himself in the building. I'm just gonna nail him with this. With the uh. Ooh! Yeah. Because he was stuck in the building, I hit him a few times with the plasma cannon. I'm surprised the plasma can didn't just like blow up the whole building. All right. I 
think this guy's a little bit harder because he's just a shotgun, which actually do quite a bit of damage to my pressure on with the machine gun to make sure that his uh, primer armor didn't recover fast enough and then just use the uh, um, plasma cannon to destroy the rest of his health this build is not like not good in story mode because you, ha you have like no ammo And I, I, I think uh, it might be unfair because my build loves uh, open area where you have like no cover like this. If you fight in a city, it's a little bit dicier. This guy is a little bit harder to fight, yeah, for sure. Using a grenade launcher. Wow, I'm also out of energy. I've been mean, not paying attention. Have to get him. Yeah, I was trying to match his speed in the air, and obviously my suit is a lot heavier, and I wasn't really paying attention to my uh, EN, and it just ran out, had to land. But, like, it's not too bad when you're on the ground, honestly. As long as your suit in, in general is just fast, you should be able to glide around pretty quickly. Don't have to always be in the air. I think he's, he's like hitting with something where my FC is just not keeping up with him. This should be it. There you go. I stay in the air for too long and my uh, guns just gun him down. Uh, she might be a problem. She or he might be a problem. Got a lot of like melee. Not really equipped to deal with something that's faster than me. Oh yeah. I think I nailed him at least in our time with the plasma cannons. Is, I rarely fly backwards like this, but good practice. Ooh, landed that one, but his armor was too uh too thick. But my machine gun fire killed him from like 600 meters away too. After getting hit with the uh, plasma cannon.
you can get in the air. Sometimes I have a hard time getting in the air. Or staying up here, obviously. Oh, those are good hits. That's what I like to see. Just kind of in their blind spot. And uh, he was just kind of circling around. And I was just able to track him the entire time. Uh, and basically land all my shots. And uh, yeah, that's, that's what I like to see there. I'm sure there's better assault rifles to use. Obviously, the Moto Cobra is the best machine gun to use, but there's probably better assault rifles. But I've been liking this. Just the high rate of fire just allows to shred through armor. Although, it's low ammo capacity, obviously. It shouldn't be just like firing randomly. And it's got to reload a lot. Which, uh. Could be an issue. This guy ran into buildings. Yeah, got him with the uh, plasma cannon. Alright, we're fighting White Glit. Definitely not as fast as he is in story mode. Still pretty tough though. He's hitting me a lot with his uh I should rise around a lot more than I can. Um uh, time to recharge. Kind of too far away. A little hard time tracking him. I think he's trading better than I am. Yeah, my EN is running out. Oh my god. Alright, well, that's the first time I ran out of ammo on my assault rifle there. And I almost died. That, that, that fight was actually pretty tough. Give it that uh, to White Clean. The toughest match I had so far. Where I actually just legit ran out of uh, assault rifle ammo. That's the bad thing about the Merv, it's just if you're not too careful. You'll run out of ammo. You, you almost never run out of ammo motor Cobra, but everything else. And I was just not keeping track of my. If he wants to ground fight, I think I'm better. Chasing him. Not too bad. Uh, 
Sorry about that. Alright, we'll finish this up here. Pretty decent damage, just gotta reload though. He, he did some pretty good damage. Alright, I think we're almost done with all of them. He has a blade. Not that it matters. I, I was really aggressive there. Just cornered him and uh, nailed him with the uh, good old uh, assault rifle. Alright guys, we're almost at the end. And then we'll do the uh, um, or matches for Orca next time. This guy's a little tougher. And he's got missiles too. Alright, I think what's getting me is the, uh, the cannons. Oh, shit. Alright, whoa. Let's see what turn it around with. Alright, I, I almost went down. Holy crap. That was a really close match. That It was fast, but... Um, the closest ones I had to dying because I was just eating his back cannon damage. This is Wind Falchion. That wasn't too bad. Her um, I think I had too much primal armor up for her to be effective. My primal armor was a little bit lower. I think her laser, her plasma cannons would have done a lot more damage. Laser shot there. Uh oh. It wasn't too tough either. I did lose track of him a few times because of uh, the um, radar the, or the um, the EMC. Not too tough though. All right, let's 
Stava might be hard. We'll see, we'll see. I think we can get a close if we're fine. I think he's the fastest, one of the fastest, honestly. So hard to keep track of. Okay. But in the end, he wasn't at the, super difficult. So, of all the uh, Collard so far, I thought White Glink was the most difficult, and I think uh, Rhodey here was also pretty difficult. Uh, well, just because I, I was eating so much damage, and every time he hit me with his backhand, and my, uh, my locked on just fell off, and I couldn't see him. Uh, the other annoying one was, I think it was Patches, actually. Yeah, just because he had uh, so much uh, EMC, my radar just couldn't pick him up, and I, I was fighting him blind essentially, just through uh, straight um, visual contact as well as uh, was how I was uh, trying to find him. Couldn't find him on my radar, but in that, yeah, these guys were fun to fight. Uh, yeah, once again, if you wanted to, just machine gun and uh, a AR will essentially just be able to take them all out fairly easily. And then, yeah, just. Um, Maybe like a back cannon of some kind. For me, I'm using a plasma. Uh, but other than that, pretty uh, pretty easy stuff. So we'll go ahead and call it here, and then I'll show you guys how to fight the uh, um, the Orca people later, and then uh, we'll end the series there. All right, guys. See you guys next time.